Welcome everyone to a quick update on what's been happening to number 27, my 964. I'm currently on my way to uh, Silverstone for a track day. I've never been to Silverstone before, so it will be interesting. It's quite a fast circuit, probably not, I don't know if it's ideally suited to a 964. I think more power would probably be ideal, but in any case, there we go. Um, so there's a few things that have been happening with the car since uh, I last put an update. First of all, the ducktail has gone for the moment. Uh, I may refit it. I was always going to put the original lid back on and just make sure that I had that just in case I ever wanted to sell the car. So I made sure that that was painted, fitted. And actually at the moment, I think I prefer the car without the ducktail. So that's good. Also the wheels which had the polished rims, I just wasn't too happy. They were too blingy for me. Uh, so I had the, the rims painted. So they're now all sort of gunmetal color and I, I definitely prefer them like that. As you might be able to see in this, I've also fitted a harness bar and I got a full harness as well. So it'll be good to see how that works out on track. It's, um, it is a safety thing, but not just that. Um, these seats aren't quite as heavily bolstered as um, pole positions or the other seats that most people use. I can't use those because my back's quite bad. So I need seats where the, the back can be moved a little bit. So these Recaros, they're great. They're not quite as heavily bolstered. So I think having a full harness as well will hold me in a bit better uh, around the track. Another change to the car that I forgot to mention earlier is the removal of that hideous chin spoiler that I had before. I don't know, some people like them. Um, I didn't. I don't know if it makes any difference whatsoever to the way the car handles or anything like that. But I really hated it, so I've taken that out. And I think most people will agree the car looks a lot better for it. I mean, it definitely turned out, as you can see from this clip. The reasons why I crashed at Spa was to do with an ABS malfunction with the ABS pump. That should have been obvious really since there was a, a fluid leak that I found in the front. So when we were doing the testing on the, at the airfield, and it quite clearly shows the car locking up and going sideways, again the ABS was coming in. But once I'd done that three or four times, it actually started working properly. The car was no longer locking up, there was no more skid marks and it was working properly. But for peace of mind, I got the ABS pump rebuilt at Wafthof. Raikou, really good guy. He did the rebuild for me. Um, I bought some uh, parts from a Mercedes ABS pump. Um, now, when you took it apart, you obviously, these, this is what you took out, right? Yeah, I took the um, pistons out. But they don't look quite as bad as I was expecting, but you can see just at the top there, maybe just bring it in a bit closer to the camera, you can see that there was some, the there's a bit of corrosion noise. there. And, and, you and think also that, that the piston was stuck at some was point. Stuck, right. So it's quite likely that one or both pistons at some point basically stuck okay. and that would have jammed the, the, the braking system on if the ABS came in, Exactly. Right? Okay. Exactly. But this is something that we see very often on 964s. The other big thing that's happening is the conversion from two to four wheel drive, which I want to do using the existing C4 gearbox rather than the established method of using a 993 six speed. That is a great way of doing it. But I'm more interested in trying to convert the C4 gearbox, A, because there aren't that many 993 gearboxes about, B, because they're very expensive, and C, because it'd just be ex interesting to see how that would work. So the idea is that we convert the existing gearbox, take out all the running gear, and also what we're going to try and do initially is to keep the active rear diff using the PDAS system and see how that works once the car has been converted to two-wheel drive. I think this will be particularly useful for other owners. I'm a little bit skeptical just because I'm not that convinced that the PDAS system is actually going to activate the locking rear diff at the right time. So I'm not sure how it's programmed in terms of that rear diff. If, that, if it doesn't work out once we go testing, the alternative is obviously just to fit a, a normal mechanical locking rear diff. I went over to see Nick at uh, Red Tech last week to talk about the conversion and it looks like we're going to be doing it. 
maybe in September, October. So be patient. I know I was supposed to do it in January, February. Uh, that wasn't really my fault. Or next. Um, but it's taken a lot longer to get the manufacturers to make the necessary parts to lock the C4 gearbox so it will work without having the drive shaft going to the front. They were really busy with um, other work for racing teams and, and they just, you know, they, they, they haven't really had time to do it up until now. I'm confident September, October, November maybe, that this will be done. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing and we'll be able to do a before and after comparison. I've heard a lot about C4 versus C2. There's people who say that there's absolutely no difference. There's people who say there's a big difference. There's people in between. Supposedly the steering is lighter. The car's a little bit, feels a little bit more agile, which I, is what I'm expecting. And that's because it won't have those front drive shafts, the diff. So A, the car's going to be lighter, but B, if there's no power going through to the front wheels, then the steering should feel different. And it's something I've always felt about the C4. I've always felt it slightly unwilling to change direction. So fingers crossed, October, November. So I didn't enjoy the morning that much. Once I got to know it a bit, I enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, the car went really well, number 27 went well, it was all good. I still get a little bit of um, shivers when I do some sort of high speed braking, which is when the crash happened at Spa. But I have to say, the car behaved itself perfectly, the braking always felt good. Always felt like there was plenty in reserve, really. So it was good fun all in all. Thanks for watching. Next video should be Touchwood on the conversion from C4 to C2. So keep your eyes open for that. Thanks, bye.